In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fly multiple LiDAR missions and stitch all the data together. I'm flying this bad boy today. Let's fly. Okay, first, before we get out there and start flying these missions, let me go ahead and break down and talk about the mission plan that we're gonna be doing today. But before I do that, if you guys wanna see more content like this and learn more about flying drones or just making money with drones or LiDAR. I like money. I'm gonna be releasing some awesome content here in the next coming weeks where I'm actually gonna take some actual real quotes that I've used to win jobs in order to make money with my drone. And I think you're gonna really wanna stay tuned and watch that. So go ahead and like, subscribe down below. Do it, do it. Do it. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for those. Now let's go ahead and jump into Google Earth real quick and check out what we're gonna fly today to talk about this matching of these multiple flight missions with LiDAR. Here I have Google Earth and I've highlighted four sections of this transmission corridor. I broke the flight into four different flights. We have the red section, blue, yellow, and the magenta. And each time I'm gonna be picking up the base station and all the equipment and moving it to a new location and flying from that next location, moving that base station. All right, now that you've seen the mission plan I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just fast forward through all the flying part. Maybe just do a quick couple montage, couple aerial shots. Here, maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll do a quick little drone shot of it flying right now. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm moving around to the base station. And then now let's go ahead and, uh, let's just go ahead and assume I flew all four of those missions and jump right into the data and start looking at that right now. So here we are inside of the Rock Cloud LiDAR processing software. And you can see I have these four transmission flights right here. So we got flight three, flight two, flight four, and flight one. And what I did is I, I created a new folder here and I put all four of these projects in that folder. And the reason I did that is because this is what is gonna enable us to align the data sets because you get this really cool feature right here called compare. So let's go ahead and click on that and open up all four data sets in the one viewer and take our first look at that LiDAR data. Awesome. Sweet. Sweet. Here we go. Uh, you know, it looks pretty good, but really what we want to do is click on the quick tools over here and then click on this compare view and turn on all four of the data sets inside the folder. So now we have a false colored of each individual flight. And let's go ahead and just zoom in and look at the overlap. So right there, you can see right away, boom, these are not aligned. So this is okay though, because this is, this is what we're doing here. So I'm showing you how to do. And the reason why this isn't aligned is that the base station wasn't tied into anything. So what I went ahead and did here is I have a ground control point that I captured on the very first base station. And it's right here, I put it in the data set and it was on this high reflective marking. And if I come over here, I'm gonna be able to actually turn on uh, and look at the intensity gradient view. Yeah, and you can see right there, there's a, this is an arrow, an arrow right there. Uh, and right there at the tip is where I put the base station and that's my GCP point right there. That all looks good. This is so good. I don't recommend not using GCPs. If you can always put down ground control points and tie each individual section into those GCP. But what I'm gonna show you here is, you know, obviously I, I couldn't get access to a lot of these areas. It was up in the mountains, it was unreachable. So this is totally fine as well, but just not the most advised way of doing something. So I'm gonna go ahead and go turn all of these back into the compare view and show you how I align these data sets. So now I know the first data set is tied in because it's tied into this ground control point and that all looked good. So we're gonna leave that one as static and assume that one is the fixed one. So now I'm gonna come here to the overlap and I'm gonna click on the navigate button. And right here in flight two, I can actually type in numbers here. So let's bring this down by maybe five feet. Okay, maybe a little bit more. You see how it's moving in real time? Boom. And then let's bring it back by Okay, maybe five, maybe six feet, maybe let's go seven. And then we're gonna bring it Okay, oh. So we're gonna tweak this until they totally line up, totally match. 
And this is the name of the game. We're just gonna align the one data set to the next one. And what we can do is we can actually zoom in, we can rotate a bit and we can get a better perspective. And I am bringing this in closer and closer. Look at that, that's getting pretty good, isn't it? Not perfect. So you can see over here, you can see the blue kind of peeking out and then the red peeking out on the other side. So we're gonna just now use a scroll and just scroll it in. Scroll it in there. And then we can look at the vertical component. Honestly, I'm looking at these wires a lot here. Still looks like the vertical is a little bit off. Let's bring it up a bit. Okay, boom, that's looking pretty darn aligned right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just click save right there. And there you go, that's all you gotta do. Wow. You just bring the next one in and totally line it up and then click save. Now I'm gonna do that for the next two in a row. And let's go do that right now. Oh yeah, look at that air right there. So that is, so honestly, a single GPS receiver with an L1, L2 band, it should be around, you know, one meter of air inside these things, which looks about right, you know, right around. All right, that one looks good. Let's click save and move on to the last one, purple one over here. There we go, all aligned. And you can kind of get a good idea when you see the colors kind of evenly mixed like this, how it looks like purple and yellow, you get a good idea like this is this is pretty good aligned. Uh, maybe right here, we're looking at a little bit of shift on that rooftop too. So let's go ahead and fix that up a little bit. All right, now that we've aligned all four data sets, what we can do is we can choose to merge them all into one just by clicking merge, and then we're done. And there you have it. That's how you take multiple LiDAR missions and merge them using the Rock Cloud. Pretty simple, right? Uh, really, there's nothing that's gonna make it much easier than that. I do recommend using ground control points underneath every single flight and when available, go ahead and survey in your base station where it's located. But when you're in a pinch, you can't get there, this technique works just fine. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you wanna see more content like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you here next time, here on Indiana Drones. <laughs>